Okay, in this next video, we are trying to find this angle X. So, what we're going to do is we're going to draw in a third parallel line. So, we have two lines that are parallel, and we're going to draw a third line that's parallel to those two lines right through the vertex, right through this angle that we're trying to find. And so now what we can do is let's do just a black box. What we can do is we can look at it one piece at a time. Okay, so if those two lines are parallel, that line we just drew in, which is so janky looking, but you get the gist. Um, then these angles are corresponding and they are congruent. So if this is fifty, then this is fifty. So now, I'm going to look at this part. Okay, if these lines are parallel, these two angles are same side interior, same side C supplementary. So they're same side interior. So this little nugget right here, ooh, wrong color. Right, just this angle right here. That's going to be supplementary to 100. So this little nugget has to be 80. So now we're trying to find angle, the measure of X, that whole angle. So I know the top piece is 50. I know the bottom piece is 80. So I'm just going to add those together to get X. So X is that whole thing. X is 130 degrees. So you draw a third line. It's called an auxiliary line. If you ever see them say, you hint, use an auxiliary line. It means draw a third parallel line. So you can just look at those two at a time. So you can look at just the top part. You can look at just the bottom part. And since they're parallel, those relationships apply to all of them. And then you find the top part, you find the bottom part, and then you add them together.